Hi, I'm here in my office working on a system of equations. A system of equations is two or more equations with two or more variables. To solve a system of equations, you want to find solutions that make all the equations true. There are three methods for solving systems of equations. Graphing, substitution, and linear combinations. Today we're going to look at the graphing method of solving a system of equations. Dave wants to wash the deck on the back of his house, so he decides to rent a power washer. The rental store has two pricing plans. Dave can pay a $25 rental fee plus $2 for each hour he has the power washer. Or he can pay only a $10 fee but then be charged $5 per hour. Dave wants to know the number of hours he can have the power washer so that the price of both plans is the same. Dave can set up a system of equations to represent this situation and solve it using graphing. We can write the plans as equations. If we let x equal the number of hours and y equal the total cost, then rental plan A could be written as y equals 2x plus 25. Plan B could be written as y equals 5x plus 10. These two equations are written in slope-intercept form, so we can graph them on a coordinate grid. The first equation has a y-intercept of 25 and a slope of 2. The second equation has a y-intercept of 10 and a slope of 5. Remember, each point on the first line represents a pair of numbers which are the number of hours of use and the cost using plan A. Every point on the second line represents the number of hours of use and the cost using plan B. But there is one point where the two lines cross. That's the point where the number of hours and the cost are the same for both plans. Since the two lines meet at the point 535, that's the solution to the system of equations. But what it means for Dave is that if he plans to keep the power washer for five hours, it doesn't matter which plan he uses. He'll pay $35. Uh, if he's going to keep it longer than five hours, go with plan A, where the hourly rate is less. For example, at six hours, plan A costs $37, while plan B costs $40. Otherwise, plan B is his best option. If he only uses the power washer for, say, three hours, plan B costs $25, while plan A would cost $31. The graph gives us a picture of the solution to the system as well as valuable information about his rental costs. In most cases, when you graph a system of equations, the two lines will meet in exactly one point. However, there are two situations where the lines will do something different. It's possible that the two lines won't meet at all. Here's a system of equations where the two lines have the same slope but different y-intercepts. When you graph the lines, you realize that they are parallel and don't meet. This system of equations has no solution. On the other hand, it is possible to be given two equations which have more than one solution. But we can graph the first equation using the slope-intercept method, and we get this line with y-intercept 3 and slope of 1 half. The second equation is in standard form, so it would be easier to graph it if we found the intercepts. Substitute 0 for x and solve for y. y equals 3. Then substitute 0 for y and solve for x. x is negative 6. So the intercepts are 0, 3 and negative 6, 0. Plot the two points and connect them and you'll see that we get the same line. We say that these two equations are coincident. In this case, there is an infinite number of solutions to this system, represented by the points on the coincident lines. A system of linear equations can be represented by lines on a graph. And in most cases, the point at which these lines meet is the solution to the system 
the pair of numbers which make both equations true. Now, sometimes the graph reveals that there are no solutions, and sometimes there are an infinite number of solutions. There are more algebraic methods of finding the solution to a system of equations, but the graphing method will help you get the picture.